This tragic incident happened in Indiana and involves the death of a beautiful five-year-old boy named Cairo Jordan. Here is a summary of the key points. Cairo Jordan, a five-year-old boy was found dead in a blue hard case Las Vegas-themed suitcase in the woods of rural Indiana near Louisville, Kentucky, in April 2022. In May 2022, police stated Cairo died as a result of an electrolyte imbalance likely caused by viral gastroenteritis, according to toxicology and autopsy report. The report also indicated Cairo's blood toxicology was negative, and there was no physical trauma to the body. Fingerprints for both Don Coleman, age 40 and to John Anderson, age 37, who is Cairo's mother, were allegedly found on items in the suitcase. Phones owned by both women were reportedly near the site where the boy's body was discovered. According to Don's arrest affidavit, both women allegedly published several social media posts referring to the child as a demon prior to his death. According to court documents, Don allegedly told police that when she arrived home at the Louisville apartment, Dijuane was on top of Cairo, who was lying face down on the bed. Dijuane said that it was already done. It was one year ago when Indiana State Police were pleading for help identifying a little boy found in a suitcase in the woods of Washington County. For months, police had no answers. He was given a funeral that hundreds in the community attended, and then he was buried with a headstone that said it at the time in loving memory of a beloved little boy known but to God. That was until October of last year when police learned his full name, Cairo Amar Jordan. His headstone was updated with his name. His name was discovered when police were able to find the suspects in his death. One of them, little Cairo's mother. And to this day, Cairo's mother, Dijon Anderson, is still on the run. Don Coleman was arrested in San Francisco. She's charged with neglect of a dependent and obstruction of justice. Her trial is scheduled to begin next month. Don pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit murder in connection with the death of Cairo. As part of her plea agreement, Don will serve 25 years in prison with five years probation and will have to testify against Dijuane once she is found. Police thus far have been unable to locate Dijuane. Five, one of the women who was charged in the death of that little boy whose body was discovered in a suitcase knows the time that she will spend in prison. A judge sentenced Don Coleman this morning in Cairo Jordan's death. His body was found in a suitcase in southern Indiana in April of last year. So our cameras were in the courtroom as the judge sentenced Coleman. And we've got Jenny Runovich in studio with us tonight with what that judge had to say. Jenny? Well, and guys, this judge did not words. Take a listen to what he said. He told Don Coleman in court today, you packaged Cairo like trash. He was an innocent little boy who just wanted to be loved. You have wicked beliefs and wicked ways. Pointed words from a Washington County judge Tuesday as he sentenced Don Coleman. She pleaded guilty to helping to kill five-year-old Cairo Jordan and stuffing his body in a suitcase. Now she'll spend a quarter century in prison. Unfortunately, the walls of your jail cell for the next 25 years will be nothing compared to the walls of that suitcase. I hope the image is forever etched in your memory. The discovery of this disturbing case came in April of 2022. A mushroom hunter found the little boy's remains in a suitcase in the woods in Washington County. With no ID, police shared this picture, hoping someone recognized the suitcase and could help find the person responsible for the child's death. Boy, it still bothers me that somebody would have the audacity to throw somebody else away like that piece of trash. It still bothers Judge Larry Medlock, too. It was thought that this child was possessed by the devil. But it's you, Don Coleman, that has the devil in your soul. It wasn't until October of last year that state police finally identified the young victim as Cairo Jordan. Police say his mom, Dejon Anderson, is the one who killed him. Coleman helped get rid of the body. Court records show Coleman saw Anderson on top of her son, who was face down on a mattress at their Louisville home. Anderson allegedly told Coleman it was already done. Then police say the two drove to Indiana and put Jordan's body in this suitcase in the woods. Police arrested Coleman last fall in San Francisco Cisco, but Anderson is still on the run, still wanted for her son's murder. It's a very active investigation. Uh, you know, 
any lead, anything that we can do to, to locate the mother in this case is what we're going to do. Under the plea deal, Coleman has agreed to testify against Anderson when she's found and has her own day in court. And the key word for police is when she is found. The manhunt for Cairo Jordan's mom is nationwide right now. She was last seen in L.A., but she's been in Louisville, in Houston, in Vegas. And so the prosecutor today said, you know, today's sentencing is really just the first step. She says this case will not be closed. Cairo won't have justice until his mom is held accountable. All around, just such a heartbreaking situation. Oh, it's been disturbing to yeah. cover it. I know. Thank it you, has. Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Police thus far have been unable to locate DeJuane. Both of these women are monsters for what they did to this beautiful boy. Rest in peace, Cairo.